hello magical hands welcome back to another sewing tutorial this tutorial is a pinterest inspired tutorial and it's a full tutorial meaning you get to sew from the scratch you get to draft the patterns in this tutorial as well so if you're a beginner this will come in handy for you first you have to know that skirt comes in different patterns and different types in order to forge ahead with this tutorial properly we have to know the type of skirts we're going for which is the a-line skirt but in order to get this properly without having any mistakes we are going to be making use of the first skirt which is the pencil skirt which is the basic body skirt and then from that we're going to go ahead to get the a-line properly that is just the easy math done here the slit is just like an extra design so let's get into this video proper the first step here is to make sure that i have the full length of the skirt marked down but the pattern paper stops at 39 while the full length of the skirt is a 42 inches so i will make use of the whole pattern paper and while cutting is on the fabric i will add up whatever is left to be added now the first thing i'm going to do is to mark the apex measurements which is which could be your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two or your waist measurements divided by four whatever it gives you go ahead and divide it by two again and that is your apex measurements so now i marked hers which is a 3.5 inches and from that point i will come down by four inch which is for our dart now i will go ahead and connect it together as seen and then i will go half an inch apart from that apex line i will mark that on both the left and the right side now go ahead with my ruler to connect it in a sloppy form to meet that point and there we have the dart for the skirt now the next thing we are going to be doing is to mark from the waist point to the hip which i am using a nine inches this is a long skirt so feel free to use nine inches thereabouts normally i would have used an eight or seven inches but this is a pretty long skirt and it's kind of free so i'm going to indicate that line as the hip line and i have the top part of the pattern as my waistline and the other end is my full length now we are going ahead to smack our round measurement so i'm going to mark the high hip waist measurement divided by four gives me a seven inches so i will mark the seven inches as seen and i'm going to add up one inch for sewing allowance and then i'm going to mark one inch for the dart because by the time we're sewing off the dart we'll be closing up at least one inch so we're going to replace it at the other end so our measurements are still complete now our hip measurement divided by two gives us a 8.65 so i will mark that as seen and i'll go ahead to add one inch for sewing allowance on the full length this skirt is since it is a maxi skirt it is long it's not supposed to be a pencil skirt because it's going to have a op op an opening so i'm just going to go ahead and cut it as a pencil skirt i'm just going to bring whatever i have on my hip measurement i'll bring it to the full length now i'm going to connect it from the hip to the full length so by the time i am done i'm going to get the flay or the supposed a line while i am cutting this on the fabric so the main point here is to get the basic bodies of your skirt on the pattern paper and when we are transferring it to the fabric we can add up the flay and that will help us get the desired amount of flay we might want to get now the next thing i want to do is to extend the apex measurements which is the 3.5 inches i'm going to extend it down to the full length because of the slit now if you want your skirts you can have your slits just at one point you can have it at both points whichever ways you want i'm just going to do a show you all this method that will be easy for you to get both double slits and both the one-sided slits. so just follow as you are seeing in the video and you will get it through so now i've connected everything down to the full length and my front piece is ready i'm going to cut it up and yeah we'll go back to the back piece now in order to get my back piece i'll be needing my front piece as a template to get the back piece i'm going to place it as seen but the back piece is going to be on a fold it's not going to have the zipper the zipper is going to be at the side so now i'm going to place it in a sloppy form because you know we are going to be giving this a flay and the back should have its flay since it's not going to be in two piece i'm going to slant the front piece on it as seen so that the center back can have a little flay so just slant it that is the main point of this just make sure you slant it at the center back area and yeah we're still going to add the flay of the hip side while cutting on our fabric so now i'm just going to mark 
the line to indicate that that is the back and that extra line you are seeing is just the extra flare for the back piece because the back is supposed to flow a bit so it doesn't look too a at the sides and then the back is just left hanging now i'm going to start cutting this on the fabric like i mentioned the full length of the skirt is 42 inches but the pattern paper stops at 39 so i have extra measurements at the length which is to complete the full length including all the hemming allowance now make sure that where your pattern paper stops make sure you have at least four inches which is for the flay of the skirts the flay that i told you the a line of this so make sure you have at least four inches there but now you're going to go ahead with your scissors and you will cut in a slopey form to meet the waist don't forget our main focus measurement here is the waist measurement whatever excesses is even on the hip measurements is nothing for you to worry about you just have to focus on the waist measurements make sure the waist measurement is accurate so don't be too quick to blend in this a line just take your time and go slowly don't be too quick to end it just take your time make sure everything is straight don't it's not too sharp it's not too obvious that the a is pretty too sharp so you can see i'm already closing up the a line the excesses and i made sure that the waist is accurate so now that i have that i'm going to go ahead and chop off the top part and we have our back piece already and yeah we'll move on to cutting the front piece for the front piece i also placed my fabric in in such a way that i will be able to get my full length and for the front piece i made it quite wider than the back piece so now what i'm going to do is to slash up the slit line because the slit area is supposed to because of the slit area is supposed to be free so it is not too open when she is standing i mean when she's standing the skirt is supposed to look like there is no slit except she's walking or she wants to make the slit obvious so the front piece would need a lot of space so now i'm going to open this up so i have enough space as much as i want and then now i'm going to go ahead with my scissor my tape to measure what i left in between so i kind of closed it up a bit so i have like six inches which i was okay with and then now i'm going to use my pins to hold it down so it doesn't move while i am cutting this so i will go ahead as seen and cut this up to the waist point so when we are close to the waist point what i'm going to do is to close up the dart so i can have my lines accurately because you can see the pattern paper is a bit um the pattern paper is a bit folded at the top part because of the little splash we did at the bottom line so yeah guys if you're following through to this point make sure you're a subscriber and please don't forget to share these videos as your shares helps youtube recommend our videos to other people as well so now i've closed it up and i'm close and i'm sloping it together to make sure that the waist is accurate because the waist doesn't need this extra flare so now i have my front piece ready and i'm about to slash the slit now in cutting open the slit i just want to make something note noted that if you don't want yours to have this second sewing line of the slit just while you're cutting the slit make sure you cut only one side and not both but for this i cut the both so now the space in between which is six inches i divided it by two which gives me a three and i'm going to use that as a guide to get my slit because at least it should have a little bit of flare at the lower side so it is not looking so tiny or too straight at the front i mean the skirt is already a line so the slit should fall in an a line form so i'm going to continue cutting i will follow that line and i will cut up to the end you so now i have my front piece looking like this i'm going to determine which side the slit is going to be on which i think the right side is going to be okay so for the left side i'm going to close it up i'm going to sew from the top to the bottom i'm going to sew everything up and this is what i have so i've sewed i've gone ahead to pin it up i'm about to take it to my sewing machine to sew i close up the hole of one side and then the second side i will just sew to the point where i want the slit to stop so this is what i was talking about if you don't want yours to have the second sewing line for the slit make sure to cut only one side up while cutting the fabric the pattern on the fabric but this method is also cool so just in case you don't understand this is what sewing it up looks like 
so this is what the front piece looks like and before i attach it to the back piece i'll make sure to sew up the darts of the back piece don't forget to sew up the darts at the back piece so now that i'm done sewing up the darts i'm going ahead to attach the front piece to the back piece in attaching this i'm just going to take out one inch from both sides because that was what i added for the sewing allowance while drafting this on my pattern paper after pinning it up this is what it should look like so i have my pins holding it up together and i'll take it to my sewing machine to sew up so i'm going to make sure to leave out at least six inches for where my zipper is going to fit in because i already mentioned that the zipper is going to be at the side and we'll be using the one inch for the side seam at that point to sew it up now we are done sewing it up and i also went ahead to weave this took it to the weavers for weaving and yeah we have almost everything ready the next thing i want us to do now is to cut the waistband for this this is not exactly like a waistband but this is a waistband what you understand as we go ahead so i'm going to place my extra fabric on the fold and i'll place the waist of the skirt on this in order to get the width of the band and to get the length of the band you determine that i'm using up to like four inches so i'm going to make sure that everything is equal now i'm going to go ahead to cut an interface for this which is the comes day and i'm going to go ahead to iron it on this so that the waist is has a more thicker effect than the other parts now that i have this already i'm going to go ahead to hem one of the ends so i'll fold in a quarter of an inch and i'll go ahead to fold up another quarter of an inch i'll take it to my sewing machine and then i'll sew that up just do this on only one of the ends one of the ends now i have done it and this is what it looks like it should be looking this clean so now i'm going to go ahead and fold it up and notch the center part of the side that we did not hem and now i'm going to place it on the side the side seam i'm going to place it as seen making sure that the right face is touching the right face i will pin up the whole waistband now take it to my sewing machine and i will sew up and yes this is what i have looking so y'all should be looking like this as well so now that i am done sewing this part next thing i'm going to do is to put arrange them together and then cut out the excesses of the band next step would be to flip down the waistband in order to get that waistline because it's not having like the visible waistband now if i when i flip it down what i'm going to do is to use my pins to hold it up at the points where i have the slit line and also the dart line so all the points where i have the slit line the seam lines and the dart line i'm going to use my pins to hold them down now i'm going to stop top stitch on those lines down i'm going to take my time and stop top stitch so clean that it wouldn't even show so this is what i am talking about if you don't understand you will understand soon so just hold them at the points where you have the dart lines on those lines so now i am done sewing it and this is what it's looking like so i sewed it very close to the joining line so it is not even visible or if possible not visible so now i am going to fix my zipper and it's a wrap guys so don't forget to share and i had my sister model this because there was no time for the client to come for it so bye